cherries, almonds, almonds soon peaches, plums. Take the fruit that's the ripest. How many knows? How many people know how to get a ripe strawberry, a uh, ripe raspberry? You go to the store. If you pick a rap, you get that beautiful basket of red raspberries. That's not ripe. You taste them and they're sour. That is not a ripe raspberry. You can't buy in the store what you can grow in your garden. You go to the garden and wait for those red ones to turn dark, rich, purple. When you pick it, it disintegrates into your hand and you pop that into your mouth. That is a ripe raspberry. That is the raspberry that you collect your yeast off of. Go to the garden, click the ripest raspberries and put them in a bowl and mush them up in the bowl. If you want to, you can add a little bit of sugar to it, but you don't need to because there's sugar in the fruit. The yeast is all over the fruit. It's already ripened, the fruit's ripening and oozing sugars and the yeast is coming in and, oh, I want that. You've got a nice culture of the local yeast right there. Mush it all up and overnight it starts to bubble and smell up the garden, smell up the kitchen. And once it's bubbling, you take that whole bowl and you pour it in the juice into your bread or add more liquid to it so you make a wine. That's your starter. That's how you do it. That's that. It's Italian. That comes from Italy. That comes. They've been doing that for thousands of years in Italy. I saw that done in Grass Valley. Say it again. <laughs> what? Like the part. How do you get the yeast? Raspberry? Raspberry? After I tell her one time, I charge $5 every time. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, once you have it going, you can keep it going. But remember, when the raspberries are on, they're picking up certain yeast that are in the area, your local area, and then you got cherries, and then you got plums, and then you got peaches and nectarines and all these things. So you keep capturing your fruit and you can add it to the same batch all summer long, and you've got a culture of early, mid season, late, all season long in your local area. Or you can just keep it just the raspberry. And uh, I want raspberry peach yeast from my local uh, Freestone area or Sonoma, wherever, or the wine country or wherever. You have these different yeasts that are your local yeast, and those are the ones you don't know how much alcohol it's going to produce. But if you get one, a culture that produces a lot of alcohol, then that's your high alcohol yeast. They will have different flavors. Mix and mash them together, different cultures, but that's how you capture your local yeast. Get your local fruit doing it at the height of the season for that fruit. When it's really ripe, you can pick it right off there. Instead of putting it in your mouth, you got to have that delay. you got to have that self-control and put it in the bowl and mush it all up and let it ferment overnight. In, just put a wet towel over it and put it in the oven if it's not warm enough in your Bay Area um, to keep it warm. It'll bubble and it'll start smelling like like bubbling yeast. And that's what you add to your bread starter and that's what you add to your wine starter. Now look at these things here. 